It's time for the Game of the Week on Richmond's very own WBON-TV Channel 9, the leader in local sports television. Support these great local sponsors who support our community. Now, here's your announcers for the game. Baseball action here on WBON TV. Everybody, welcome in to a Wednesday night midweek edition of the Spring Sport, one of two that we like to cover baseball and softball this week. We get a excellent baseball game, and not just any team. Of course, we've got two of our Madison County teams in Model versus Berea. Dawson Rule here on the call tonight, hanging out with the sports crew, producer Gage Hill and cameraman Jacob Beck tonight, and we are at EKU. Due to the weather the past couple of days, the game has eventually got moved over here to Eastern, and now we're playing on a much better field, a turf field, and they've got us up in the press box so, not trying to brag here, but we're, you know, we're kind of warm and dry. And some of these spectators are going to have to brave the elements, typically like we do when we do a game. We're kind of getting spoiled today, but exciting times nonetheless for Model and Berea Baseball. We are really pumped to get a game. We've been trying to get at least one per week. Last week we had a really good one in Madison Southern Softball uh, hosting Wolf County. Went to extras, eight innings, and Wolf County pulled out a win. I expect tonight's game of course, to be another great one. Two county rivals, the two smaller schools in Madison County, and we're going to have uh, uh, good innings of baseball. I really do believe the crowd's finally starting to roll in. After we got here about an hour and a half ago, and it was a downpour, so uh, really excited for all that to get away and get in some good baseball on this nice midweek. We're going to take a three-minute commercial break. When we're back, we'll be Really close to first pitch to so hang around and stick around for this great model Berea boys baseball game on WBLN TV. I'm Michelle and I'm Jennifer and in the spring of 1992, Bishop Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cup Cadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shindawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop's Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see you. Whether you're looking for dependability in the game or on the road, Madison County is where you'll find it. Jack Rufford Chevrolet in Richmond has the trucks you can depend on and a winning tradition just like our great local sports teams. Come see us at Jack Rufford Chevrolet in Richmond or check us out at jackwerford.com to see our lineup of dependable trucks and become part of the winning tradition. All righty, folks, we're back, and the game has begun. Kind of snuck up on us. They didn't do the anthem or anything. They just kind of started. So first pitch was a strike, swing and miss, and this one was a ball. So here we are, top of the first, Berea model with Thompson up to bat for Berea. Wind up. Pull outside to the left for a ball. Uh Matthew Gorbett tonight pitching on the mound, starting for the Patriots, a good model Patriots team. Only two losses this year and gotten up into the double digits for wins here on the uh, synthetic turf for at EKU. Everything is turf besides that mound, which they covered up, but still you can't tell with the camera. It's very wet. Pitchers may have to struggle with that. This one's popped up in foul territory and caught for the out. Thompson pops it up. And that will be the first out of the game. Good awareness for the Patriots. Up next for Berea up to bat is our guy Banderman. Tommy Banderman plays basketball. Junior and now on to the baseball portion of his uh, junior year. First pitch. That'll go in for a strike. Like I said, excited to be out here for some baseball action. We had softball last week, baseball this week, and kind of getting back into the swing for this sport. You know, we're in football and basketball mode so long. Then right all of a sudden, baseball and softball jump up on you, and it's like, boom, here we go. That one fouled off, 0-2 to Bannerman. 
Berea looked earlier. I believe they're four and five this year. So looking to get a big rivalry rivalry win tonight. Back to five hundred. Pitch to Bannerman. Swung on, hit, and going to be fielded at second. Thrown out at first. Oh, he, Bannerman trips over the first base bag. Maybe in a little wet. Looks like he's going to be okay. Thankfully, get up, but looks like he may have just caught caught on a weird part of the bag right there and fell over. Luckily for whoever's doing his laundry later, this is a turf, so it won't have too much to clean up in terms of dirt or anything. Plus, their jerseys are black, so it wouldn't show up too much anyway. This one hit in play. First baseman fields, runs over, and we're going to go to the bottom of the first, but not before a quick one-minute commercial break. Stick with us. Model makes quick work of Berea in the top of the first. Hi, I'm Haley, one of the owners and managers at Just Love Coffee in Berea. Just Love Coffee is a franchise that was set up as a vision of love to help children get adopted. Just Love Coffee is a full-service restaurant that features artisan coffee creations, plus an all-day food menu that includes golden waffles, delicious sandwiches, and filling craveable wraps. Just Love Coffee, a half mile off exit 76 in Berea, in our newly renovated location at 636 Chestnut Street. At the half, BKU leads state 21 to 7. I love the way these look. Thanks. Yeah, go Colonels. Is it here? Hey, Coach. It's right here, but shouldn't you be at the game? Carry your favorite team with you everywhere you go with a new EKU branded debit card from CG Bank. No matter what season it is, always show your Colonel pride. Has anyone seen Coach? Welcome back into WBON TV, and we're headed to the bottom of the first in Model and Berea. Nice Madison County rivalry game, a county clash of their own. You know, we usually call Madison Central, Madison Southern a county clash. These two schools a little bit smaller, but still a county clash nonetheless, and excited to be out here. Cover them. On the mound for Berea, warming up is our guy Thompson. See on the Berea scorecard, only have last names uh, written, so may be able to go to KHSAA here in a minute or two and get some full names. So I'll do that as we get going here at the bottom of the first. And it's going to be a good one, folks. Uh, some of our other teams, baseball and softball-wise, in their spring break week, and typically so when that happens, you know, they hit the beaches and they go for these baseball or softball tournaments, play out-of-state teams, in-state teams, and get to enjoy some sunshine. So that's where some of our other Madison County teams are, enjoying the fun sunshine and good baseball this week. Cameron Thompson, the pitcher here. Got the roster on KHSA. It should help throughout the rest of the game. Giving them ample time to warm up on this wet mound. Obviously, that can play a difference. Really the only part on this EKU nice field, by the way, that's not turf or synthetic. or It's actually real, and pitchers have to deal with that. Get their cleats in, and here we go. After ample warm-up time, it's time for the model Patriots to hit. Starting us off here is Beckett Parker Noblet, the first baseman. That's number three there on your camera view back home. That pitch from Thompson, first one, hit on, swung, and will bloop in for a hit. And it might go two for Beckett Parker Noblet, bounced over the left fielder, does he have the speed for three? He sure does, and it'll be an easy triple to start off the game for Beckett Parker Noblet. Get a replay there and a fielding error in left field and a nice bloop hit out there, turned into three bases. Look at Parker Noblet. As soon as it bounced, turned on the Jets right there, and he easily got three. Could have had three with two extra seconds, honestly. Strike there thrown by Thompson is our guy, number seven, Connor Sayre, up to bat. Looking to get an RBI in. 
Runner on third. That's Parker Noblet. It's already way off the base. With his speed, who knows? He may be able to catch someone off guard or steal home. A little Ellie De La Cruz action. Next pitch from Thompson. Hit on, and that'll drive in the run easily. Beckett Parker Noblet will score, and a single for Connor Sayre. Patriots already on the board, 1-0 early on in the game. Bottom of the first, no outs. Now me, I like scoring in baseball, so this has been an exciting start so far in this bottom of the first. Good bit of hitting so far is next up. Number 30, Aaron Short up to bat with Sayre on first. Thompson. Looks, throws over, and ball's loose. This will be an extra base for Sayre. Miscommunication over at first base. Pitcher and the first baseman not 100% on key right there with the pickoff attempt and mishandled the ball. Next pitch. That one's low to the right for a ball. Cameron Thompson on the mound. Tough start so far for Thompson. Let's see if he can shake this off and get going at the pitching. That was a good strike there. Great thing about Eastern, they've got a good scoreboard. We can see they keep us updated with the balls and strikes too, so you don't have to remember. Next pitch, that one swung on, fouled for strike two. Aaron Short up the plate. Looking to bring in his runner on second. That is Sayre. Only the third batter of this inning so far. Swings on that one. It's going to be in play. Thrown out at first, but Sayre advances to third for the first out. So good moving of the bases right there. Next up to bat is freshman... Kellen Birch, hey, who I go to church with. Mom and Dad, a couple rows below me. Yep, there they are, Hope and Matt, enjoying. And I told them before the game, I said, I think we'll have a good game out of Kellen. Hope I didn't jinx it here. Let's see if he can get in on the scoring fun so far, get an RBI. Kellen looks at that one for a strike. Looked a little inside, but umpire disagrees, says strike one. Kellen's the catcher, and he's good behind the plate. Let's see if he can get in on the hitting fun, too. Throw over to third. Safe. A little bit better and clear on that pickoff attempt for the Pirates. Thompson. Richard looks at that. Down low for ball. Here goes Thompson. Sets, fires the pitch. High and a little outside for another ball. Two, one, now your count. Here's Thompson's pitch to Burchett. Swings on. That's a good hit right there for Burchett. Falls, drives in a run, and Kellen did what I said. He'd get it off to a hot start. Sayers scores, 2-0, model leads. Kellen Burchett over at first. Let's get a replay on that. Good, solid piece of hitting right where nobody was. Easy hit for Burchett, bringing in his teammate. Quick 2-0 lead for model as they're getting down the batting order. Now number 17, designated hitter Case Caldwell, going to join us at the batting box, and he'll take a quick timeout. Model, only up 2-0, but having a great start so far. Burchett's taking off for second, and let's see. Safe. He stole second. What a steal right there. Oh, that was Dylan Zerby, excuse me. I saw 22. He's actually 23. That was Zerby 
he was the pinch runner. I was giving my, my boy Kellen a little bit too much. I was like, hey, he's out here hitting and running. No, that was Dylan Zerby in as the pinch runner. Excuse me, folks. Good bit of base stealing right there for Zerby. Case Caldwell, designated hitter. One ball, one strike. Only one out in this bottom of the first. Pops this one up, does Caldwell, and it will be caught for an out over in the foul territory. Looks like that was caught by Banderman. He made quick work getting over there for the second out. Up next is Caden Wade. Zerby still on the base path, pinch running for Burchett. Wade, number 10, the center fielder, according to the lineup card. And Zerby did not take off for third. And that ball that got away from the catcher there. Catcher is 27, Nathan Prophet tonight. Next pitch for Thompson. A little low there. Profit, like I said, catching and trying to get on tune and get this last out with his pitcher here for Berea. That one's a good pitch right there for a strike. But third is taken in an opportunity. Another run will score for Model. Here comes Zerby. 3-0 Patriots. Another miscommunication between pitcher and catcher here on the replay. As you see, he was already stealing third. Ball got away on the throw, and then he didn't even have to run that fast to get home. He could have made it there jogging. 3-0 model Patriots lead. Wade still at the batter's box. Looks on that one inside for a strike. Still two outs, two balls, now two strikes. Important pitch for Berea's Thompson here. That one hits the batter. Wade and easy base taken. Turn around, hit him in the back. Next up, Garrett Holloway, the second baseman in to bat. <laughs> Thompson and Profit. Trying to get on the same page here. Throws over to first. That was a good attempt there for Thompson. That's winds up. Throws a good one. A little bit outside for a ball. Wade, big jump off first right here. He's going for two. Will he steal second base? Slides in and got him out. That's going to be the end of the first, but not before three model runs as Wade is caught stealing a second. One minute commercial break, but we'll be right back for the top of the second for your Berea Pirates. Who makes the best meal in Richmond? Nuevo Vallarta. Friendly service. A place that's good for kids and good for groups. Head to Nuevo Vallarta on Big Hill Avenue in Richmond. Nuevo Vallarta is known for warm hospitality, great prices, great food, and the best fajitas in town. Start with an appetizer, order a la carte, or choose from their huge menu of Mexican favorites for grown-ups and kids. Nuevo Vallarta on Big Hill Avenue in Richmond. If it won't go down. Call Mr. Rooter, the best in town. What do I do now? Call Mr. Rooter, the best plumber in town. Mr. Rooter is Central Kentucky's affordable and reliable plumber. Right now, get any drain in your home clean for only $89. Call 859-253-CLOG. That's 859-253-CLOG. So if you've got a problem that won't go down call mr rooter he's the best plumber in town he'll clean any drain in your home for only 89 dollars. now i know who to call call mr rooter bye bye poopy Welcome back. Top of the second here, WBON-TV. Having fun up here in the press box. 
Apparently, we've got some Kanye West being sung up here. I'll have to listen a little closer. A little Runaway, great song, by the way. Back here for the top of the second, and the Patriots took an easy 3-0 lead. Had pretty much whatever they wanted there. A couple foul balls that were caught for outs for Berea, and then a throw out at second. Got the Pirates back to batting, and they're going to need some uh, scores right here. Some runs, I should say. Getting used to my baseball terminology again. We got Shill up to bat for the Berea Pirates. Ball one from our pitcher tonight for model orbit. Swing and miss right there for Shill. That's a strike. One ball, one strike to start us here in the top of the second. Sets up, winds, throws, swung on and missed again. A good bit of pitching so far for models. Gorbett, Matthew Gorbett. Got Shield down in the count, one, two. Winds up, throws, and a little low there for ball two. Next pitch here. Popped up out of play. That's into the parking lot. Hopefully we don't have a cracked windshield on the WBLN mobile, but if we do, I mean, I don't know if that'll be coming out of our paycheck or not, Gage, but hopefully not. No, nah, it won't. Definitely not. Next pitch here. High and outside. That's going to bring the count to 3-2. Chill has been hanging in there. See if he can get Someone on base for the Pirates to maybe start a little run here. That one will be fouled off. Started foul, then rolled in play. Still a foul ball, though. So, Shill hanging in at the 3-2 count. Pitch outside, and he draws ball four, so a Berea Pirate gets on base. Let's see if they can get some magic going here. Top of the second. Next up to bat, that is King, number 23. The KHSAA, make sure we get him. Blake King, okay, Blake is a, oh, he's eighth grader according to KHSAA, so Young out here gets some good varsity experience. The future of the Pirates baseball team. First pitch, swung on and missed. Definitely chased that one a little bit. Strike one. Based it inside more than anything. Next pitch right down Broadway. No swing. Strike two. O oh, two your count. See what Gorbett's got here. Winds up, swing and a miss. Struck him out right there. That'll be the first out of the inning as King goes down swinging. Brandon Parker, the freshman, up to bat next. First pitch, swung on and missed again. Gorbett throwing some nice ones out here, getting them to chase, swing at everything. They just can't hit that pitch, whatever it is. I'm sure he's dicing them up with different looks here. Every at bat and every swing fouled off down 0-2 quickly again. Parker, like I said, fresh, another young player out here learning baseball at the high school varsity level a little bit better. Swung high and another strikeout. How about our guy Matthew Gorbett cooking here in the top of the second? Two straight strikeouts. Can he go for the trifecta here? Up next for Berea, that'll be Cobb. Joseph Cobb, the senior. So it'll be a little bit harder to strike out a senior here, but let's see what Gorbett can do.
Throws over to first. Had to pick off and no good on that attempt. Over it winds up, throw, swung on high, and man, he's cooking with these pitches. Perea is just chasing high on pitches that should easily, I think, would be balls. You just got to take them. Don't be so trigger happy with the bat. That one outside, of course, you don't want to swing at that, so it'll be ball one. But even those that look hittable that end up high, that's the hard part about baseball. You got to decide whether the swing or not. Maria trying to be aggressive, just not made much contact with the ball. Bob hit by pitch right there. Or but a little wild. Oh, it may have drawn some bat or something. Looked like he got hit. Two balls, one strike. Still a wild pitch. We haven't seen that much from Gorbett tonight. That one low for another ball. Three balls, one strike. Could get some runners on base for the Pirates. Another ball. Yep, that will be runners on second, runners on first. And Coach Sutton coming out to the mound real quick to speak with his pitcher, Matthew Gorbett, who's had a pretty good game so far, but just need a quick discussion with two outs. You don't want to give up any runs. So you want to get this last out. If you're the Patriots, not surrender anything. Both coaches have discussions with the pitcher and base runner for Berea. I'm next for the Pirates is pitch. Base runners will move on. Wild pitch right there gets past Birch, the catcher. Pirates, runners on third, runners on second. Here comes Berea. Algren up to bat now, number five. Can he bring home some runs? Ball inside. Orbit's going to have to dig deep here for this last out. Down two balls, no strikes. Three. Oh, no, they give him a strike right there just on the outside corner. That's why you have the ump right down there and me right up here. I can't make the correct call. So good strike there for Gorbit. That one a little bit more outside. Yeah, there's that ball three. Three balls, one strike. Going to need a good pitch here from Gorbett. Let's see if Algren can load these bases or get a hit. Popped up. Count is full. Hit the press box above us and made a loud crack, so luckily we have a nice roof over our head. Free souvenir for some fans out there. 3-2. Swung on and struck him out. Model. Good bit of pitching there for Gorbett. Gets out of a jam. And they keep their 3-0 lead as we head to the bottom of the second. You've heard the name Chenault Vineyards, but what do you know about it? Chenault Vineyards is a place for the community to enjoy. Central Kentucky's premier event and wedding destination with five event venues, full service catering, over 13 varieties of wine, live music entertainment, seasonal food options, weekly themed Wednesday night out and girls night out, trivia, murder mystery date nights, and free yoga on the point with beautiful views. Everyone can find something to do at Chenault Vineyards. Want to know more? Follow them on Facebook and Instagram or plan your night out at Chenault vineyards.com it's that time of year when we are day and night driving with our kids all over your car never stops at amco transmissions we make sure to keep you rolling we have the latest technology certified technicians and longest warranty to keep your vehicles running strong we specialize in all foreign and domestic transmissions drive train or just general maintenance did you know at amco the average customer saves eighteen hundred dollars in comparison to the dealer and amco has a longer warranty come see us at amco transmission for the best service and the cheapest prices around double a mco heading to the bottom of the second model keeps their lead excuse me folks got a little bit of a sore throat working through so 
be a, a fun night of baseball still as the Patriots, like I said, keep that 3-0 lead. And runners were threatening on third and second for the Pirates in a full count. Could have loaded the bases or a hit. Could have brought in some runs. Instead, Gorbett dug deep and got another strikeout. Here they go. We're playing Kanye West again. Good song choice here. A little runaway. First pitch outside for ball one. Up to bat, number two, Garrett Holloway. Pitch outside, but gets called a strike. Again, glad I'm not the ump. I couldn't make the good call every single pitch. That's hard. 1-1 one, one your count. 1-2 the count. Another strike in the side. Good one there for Thompson. Here we go. 1-2. Swung on and struck him out. Good bit of pitching there for Thompson. Am Thompson. And a good strike out there. Garrett Holloway goes down swinging. The model pitcher, Matthew Gorbett, now up to bat. Gorbett's had an excellent day throwing. Can he have an excellent start to hitting? Strike one, Thompson. Heating up a little bit. Next pitch. Outside, just a little bit for a ball one. Two one now your count. That one caught just the edge of the plate for a strike. Two balls, two strikes to Matthew Gorbett. Big pitch here is Thompson. And that one is fouled off. Just foul. Just went beyond that third base, which is fair or foul. So two two your count still for Matthew Gorbett. King a new ball is still kind of wet even here on the turf and at Eastern after that rainstorm earlier. Swung on and another strikeout. Thompson starting to heat up, like I said. Two straight strikeouts. And that hot start for the bats for Model cooling off a little bit. Number 14 up to bat for Model now. Mark Thomas Ellis, the right fielder. Two outs in the inning. Maybe he can get another spark going. Swings and fouls that one out of play. Oh, one your count to start. Still here in the bottom of the second. That one fouled up and into the dugout. Oh, two the count. Big pitch for the Pirates. Thompson here. Looks on with some confidence. Winds up, throws, popped up, and potentially could be caught. Nope, it's going to bloop in for a single. Mark Thomas Ellis, good hit there. Now we are back to the top of the order. Beckett, Parker, Noblet, the first baseman, got things off to a great start. Bottom of the first. Really got that run going. Got around the bases, too. And he bring in Ellis. Hits lefty. Throw over to first. Not caught. Ellis get back in easily. Albert looks on. Ready for whatever pitch comes his way outside. Ball one. Here we go. Next pitch winds up. Swung on. And that's fair. Could be two bases for both runners. And it will be. 
Nice double there for Beckett Parker Noblet. Gets Ellis all the way over to third. Model hitters so far doing a great job of kind of hitting it right over the infield, but not deep enough in the outfield. To the bottom of the second. First pitch outside and ball's gone. Ellis will score. 4 0 now the model Patriots lead as Ellis slides in with a little finesse. And taking third is Beckett Parker Noblet. Another error, in a sense, kind of gives model the 4 0 lead. Shortstop Connor Sayer now. Trying to bring in Parker Nob, but from third. One ball, no strikes. Thompson winds up, throws outside. Ball two. The crowd has developed here. Still, the seats are wet and the fans still show out. Good showing for Berea fans and model fans alike here on Models. Modified home field for the evening at EKU. Two balls, no strikes. Swung on, and this will fall for a hit. Uh-oh, more bases. One run scores. It's 5-0. Sayers going to. Oh, this could be an inside the Parker if he really wants to go for it. He's going to get held up at third. Smart by Coach Sutton there to say stop. I don't know. If I was a gambling man, I would have said, hey, if you're quick enough, see if you can take home, man. But Connor Sayre, a triple. Aaron Short, next up the bat. Now 5-0 your score after the triple. And left fielding air out there just didn't feel the ball right. Good pitch there for Thompson. Strike one. Next one popped up, and this should be a routine out for Berea. Caught, and that will be the end of the bottom of the second, but two more runs score. 5 0 your lead for Model. We'll be back in a minute for more Berea hitting. It's the common thread that ties us together, making life better for everyone. At CVNB, that means better banking, better accounts and lending better experiences, better schools, and better communities. Better. It's what ties us together. CVNB. Bank better. marble and quartz for any surface. Make a lifetime commitment you won't regret. After a two-run bottom of the second, Berea is getting ready to come back to bat down 5-0. Got themselves in a little bit of an early hole. This top of the third will be very important for them getting kind of back into this ball game, I think. They want to keep it close and competitive. The bats have been hot for models so far. you got to start scoring runs yourself, too. So the Pirates, big inning here. Our first batter here for Berea coming up will be Preston Sweet. See what Sweet can do here. Get a little run going maybe for Berea. I'm called as coach runs out to get into position. 
First pitch a little outside for Holloway. Excuse me, Gorbit. Got my uh, names mixed up on the scorecard. Just my eyes put one above the other. So that's Matthew Gorbit, of course, still out there pitching. Holloway, he's over there at second base, so he's a little bit to the right and behind of our guy, Matthew. Two balls, no strikes. And ooh, thought that would be a strike, but quickly down in the count, three balls. Sweet, looks on, could swing at this one if it's a good one. Probably should have. Now 3-1. Rest and sweet. The pitch from Gorbit and right down the middle. Strike two. Now the count's full. A little bit of a comeback effort so far in this at bat. And this pitch matchup from Gorbit. 3 2 pitch. Got him right down the middle for a strikeout. Don't know why Sweet didn't swing at any of those three pitches. Nonetheless, one out to start us here in the top of the third. Next up, top of the order for Berea. That's Thompson, the pitcher. Ball one there, a little outside to the left. That one just a little high, fell, but not enough. Ball two. Here we go. Gorbett winds up, throws a little low, just like the last at bat. Down 3 0 in the count, but he threw three straight strikes for a strikeout. Can he do the same here? Not the tops that he can't. That's ball four. All right, let's get on base here. Opportunity to maybe generate some runs as we go down as Benderman's up next to bat. Tommy Benderman, basketball star at Berea, that's for sure. We've seen him play plenty. Got one more year, too. Orbit. A little low on that one for ball one. Working through a little bit of a rough patch with balls and strikes here. Orbit. Swung and fouled out of play for Benderman. A great hit, nonetheless. Hit it over into the bullpen. Bannerman, 1-1 one, one now. With one out in the top of the third. 5-0, of course, model. Bats have been rolling so far. Pickoff attempt at first, not in time. Or it tried to catch him off guard a little bit over there, did Thompson. Thompson got back, though. Bannerman looks on. One ball, one strike, one out in the inning. Bannerman looks at that one, fall in for a strike. I ought to swung at that one, see if I could get it over the fence. Probably not, but maybe could have got a base hit in there. One ball, two strikes now. That one fouled away by Bannerman. Would have been a ball. Instead, count will stay 1-2. He's found him over to the left side so far of the field. One ball, two strikes. Here we go. Berea trying to mount a little bit of a comeback here. Bannerman looks at that one. Ball two. Same spot on that pitch almost. And almost a little low. That'll fill the count. Three balls, two strikes. A little bit higher. That would have been right in the zone. Important pitch for both teams right here. Comes Gordon. And hit into play will be a play at second. Play at first, potentially not in time. Safe at first, but thrown out at second. So two outs in the inning. Runners do not advance. Of course, Bannerman goes to first, but 
No runner at second for the Pirates there. Up next to bat for Berea, Profit. Then Profit. See if he can get Bannerman going around the bases. First pitch. Ball one. Orbit winds up, throws. Good pitch there for strike one. Had a stretch where, <clears throat> excuse me, threw some balls. Now Gorbit starting to get again, get some hits again. This one hit deep left center field and will be caught for the third out. What a play from the left fielder for Model. That is Tyler Short. We go to the bottom of the third. Score is still the same. 5-0 Patriots lead. We are so excited to announce that CC Diesel will be moving to a new location. We're moving to 2269 Enterprise Drive, right off of 25 on Duncan and Lane. With a bigger location, we will be able to better serve our customers and provide service to a larger variety of equipment as well. Stay tuned for the date of our grand opening, and thank you for choosing CT Diesel for all of your diesel performance needs. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem! Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too. Physicals at Berea Urgent Care only $20. DOT and CDL physicals are only $65. Berea Urgent Care number one by Walmart is open every day 9 to 9. Berea Urgent Care number two by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 to 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care, here when you need us. Back here for the bottom of the third. Now the Patriots model, they still have a 5 to nothing lead over in-county rival Berea. And the thing about it is their bats have been rolling and Berea just hasn't really got much going. So can they stay hot here in the bottom of the third? We'll see. If they do, expect a couple more runs for model. Starting us off here in the bottom of the third. Batting-wise is Ellen Burchett. He uh, brought in a run last time, got on a single. And I told everybody he stole second. He actually got a pinch runner to do that. So, I mean, if they ever keep killing in on the base path, I mean, hey, he may be able to take one. Burchett, a freshman. Let's see if he can get things going here for model. Rhea needs to work some outs and hopefully get for Rhea Pirates fans, get a scoreless inning. But if you're model, you want to keep pouring it on right here. First pitch from Thompson way outside for ball one. Archit one on one today. Swings on that one, and it's right to the shortstop for an out. Nothing much you can do about that. Good hit on the ball. Just went right where a Pirates player was. One out. Up next in our batting lineup is designated hitter Case Caldwell. Caldwell, a lefty. Looks and hits that one right to the first baseman. And mishandled play will still get him out at first. But almost danger there. And Berea doing what they should be doing so far if you're a Pirates fan. Holding them scoreless on some on some fielding plays. Next up, Caden Wade for Model, the center fielder. Let's see if the party can get started for the Patriots with him. First pitch from Thompson, a little outside for ball one. Here's the windup from Thompson. A little low, but down the middle, still a ball, though. Ain't a catcher, really, in baseball. Thinking about it, maybe one of the harder positions to play. It's hard on your knees, and... You got to be aware for wild pitches or balls bouncing in the dirt up on you. You never know. 
Good pitch there for Thompson for a strike. Two balls, one strike here, bottom three. Two outs. That one outside, ball three. I'm going to call a strike. That looked a little outside. Maybe my eyes deceive me here. Either way, two balls, two strikes officially, and two outs. Here's the payoff pitch. Fouled off, and we'll do another one. Aiden Wade here, center fielder. Working Thompson. Making him earn this potential out. Here's the pitch. Wind up, throw, and fouled off. Right behind home plate to the netting, the safety web. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Thompson winds up, throws an interesting pitch and got him with the strikeout. A little up and under action, and Berea holds Patriots scoreless here. Still 5-0 as we head to the top of the fourth on WBON TV. At Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry, we make it our priority to deliver the gentle, compassionate care that you deserve from a dentist. Offering single visit restoration on crowns, bridges, inlays, onlays, and veneers with Cirac. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is equipped to handle all your dental needs from surgical implant placement and restoration, teeth whitening, root canal therapy, and more. And we now have the Comb Beam 3D technology for taking scans of the jaw. For your next dental appointment, call Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry at 859-985-0201. Looking for some fun? The Galaxy Bowling Center has a league for you. No matter your skill level, you can come out, make some new friends, and have a great time. Call 624-4444 for details. Or if you're more of a trivia person, Champions Grill has you covered every Tuesday starting at 7 with great prizes and all-you-can-eat wings for only $19.99. Why go anywhere else? The Galaxy Bowling Center and Champions Grill. Your ticket to fun just off I-75, exit 87 in Richmond. Back here, WVON TV, top of the fourth, playing a little YMCA village people. Hey, I, I would have chose Macho Man. You know, I'm in the house. You know what I'm saying? Macho Man. There we go. We got the YMCA in the crowd for the, it looks like the model student section at baseball down there. So a good little showing. Yep, having some fun with the YMCA. Five zero. Your score still in the top of the fourth is model warming up for another pitching session here. Three outs potentially. Orbit still out there. Number twelve, the shortstop for Berea leading us off here. That's Shill. Shill versus Gorbit here to start us off. Top four. Wild pitch almost hit Shill's helmet. Ball one. Yeah, with a sore throat tonight, guys. So everybody watching. Try not to keep it too silent here. Have some good game action as that pitch is fouled off into the parking lot for the strike. Here at the uh, EKU baseball field, I think it's Earl Combs, I believe. I should know the name. It's just for every reason I'm blanking on it right now, but still a good facility with good turf. Kind of an updated look for a baseball field with some stripes. You got to like it here. That one hit on right to the third baseman for an out. Turkey Hughes Field, okay, that's what it is. Turkey Hughes Field, it's right there in center field. I should have seen that. Third baseman caught it right there. That's short for a model. The King here up to bat now. King, he's a youngin', but he can play some varsity baseball. Looks at that one inside for ball one. Gorbett, Matthew Gorbett still out there. 
Evening's turning out to be pretty nice so far after the tough weather earlier is ball two. Fans are out here. We've got some fans right down here reading book. I've I've, I've not I've seen that only at a couple games so far and at sporting events I've ever attended. But hey, I know I couldn't read a book at a sport. I'd just be watching what's going on. Some people that's a talent. Uh, Matt Jones does it all the time when he goes to Reds games. So we've got some fans out here enjoying a good novel at Turkey Hughes Field and watching some. Good baseball, Berea, and model. Back in the day, AR points in elementary school, I used to read just, uh, you know, I enjoyed reading, but I really liked the AR points, so I'd do it mostly for that. So at the end of the year, I'd get prizes, you know, and the trophies and all that. And I still have the trophies to this day at my house, the accelerated reading, you know, champion or whatever trophy. Pretty prideful of those. Yeah, I was never really mo much at sports, so hey, that's a a non participation trophy I can always cherish. The reading award. This one's hit in play. Throw over to first. Will it get there in time? Yes, it will. King thrown out for the second out of the top of the fourth. Some good infield play for the Patriots. Uh, AR cheat I had back in the day. You know, sometimes in the class we'd go to the library and. You know, there would be different levels here. Now, we're talking AR at baseball as uh, we've got Parker up to bat. On the outside, strike one, they would have different levels. So a preschool level book would be half a point. You know, a big fourth or fifth grader book would be, you know, eight or nine points or whatever. So uh, we'll get this pitch and I'll resume here. Hit on center field and we'll be caught. So we'll resume the AR talk in the bottom of the fourth here on WBON TV. To some, it's just a boat. But to Jim, it's his escape from meetings, traffic, and the grind of daily life. He may not catch any keepers, but he wouldn't trade his day on the lake for anything in the world. That's why his boat is insured by Kentucky Farm Bureau. But it's not just Kentucky's Farm Bureau. It's Jim's Recharge the Battery Farm Bureau. My Farm Bureau. David Mayo, John Rader, and Chris Hornsby with Kentucky Farm Bureau. Orthopedic and Sport Physical Therapy will help guide you on your road to recovery. It is our mindset, a spirit driven to excellence, to help people heal faster and better. If you have pain or an injury or you need experts in sports medicine, Orthopedic and Sports Physical Therapy is your best choice in rehabilitation and you have direct access. In most cases, you do not need a referral to any of our seven locations serving the region. Just give OSPTKY a call. Visit our website at OSPTKY.com to find the location nearest you. little YMCA action here again as the crowd was getting into it. And there's our accelerated reader of the night, fan of the night on WB. As Model is getting ready to hit again, and they're up 5-0 here at the bottom of the fourth. So still a pretty good start. Really that last inning, the bottom of the third, didn't really get much hitting. But beyond that, a great bottom of the first and bottom of the second for the Patriots. Garrett Holloway is going to start us off the second baseman. First pitch from Thompson to Holloway. Swung on. This will be in play. Throw to first and got him. Holloway thrown out. One pitch, one swing, one out there for the Berea Pirates. Up next is Gorbett, the pitcher tonight. That one outside, but draws in for a strike. All right, I got to finish my story now since we're, I got started and we're in the middle of an at-bat here. So cheat code, what you do for quick AR points throughout the year, and trust me, these would build up. So preschool-level books would be, you know, half a point. As this pitch is outside, they could say strike two. So we'd go to the library for 30 minutes, and you could choose whatever book you want. Where I would just go to the preschool books and pick up a bunch that were, you know, five pages, and then I'd go take a test on them, which they didn't monitor which book you read or which test you take. So I'd end up getting like four or five points a day off these little books that take you 30 seconds to read. So I would just do that over the course of a year. Now I read some bigger books too. I actually, uh, I did read in fourth grade as the next pitch is swung on and missed for a strikeout. 
fourth and fifth grade, I read the Harry Potter series, but I didn't just read the preschool books. So that was an easy way for points. So if the AR system is still out there, who knows? I may have just given you a cheat code for it. After the Gorbett strikeout, Mark Thomas Ellis, the right fielder, up to bat. Trying to get some Patriots on the bases now. Berea's pitching and infielding has definitely improved. This one hit on by Mark Thomas Ellis. Throw it first. Will not be in time. Ellis too quick on the bases. Replay there for Ellis. Hit it the opposite way he was running, which is good for extra running time. And he was already halfway there before the time it was fielded. Pretty much no chance to get him out. He was running... Faster than I read those preschool books for the points. That's right. All righty, folks. Next up to bat is uh, Beckett Parker Noblet. We're back to the heart of the order. Throw over to first and mishandled as Thomas Ellis slides in the first. Fun night of baseball. 5 0 the lead for the Patriots. Thomas Ellis, big lead off first, slides back in. Thompson trying to pick him off over there and loose ball. I don't know if that was that was picked up by Bannerman. Could have been live right there. Next one up to bat here. And that's a strike. Parker, Parker Noblet hanging out with us. Had a good hit to start the game and there's a reason he's the starter. Part of the order right here. Balls, one strike, two outs. Berea catcher thought there may be a steal attempt from Ellis. He's quick. You never know. Like Ellis will take second. I don't know if a... Uh, there was a call on the pitcher moving or something that gives him second base. But he'll take it, no contest. Times if the pitcher makes a move to kind of, that could be determined by the umpire if that is, you know, deceiving of whether he's going to throw it or not. It will award you the base. If you're on base, of course. Two balls now. Strike, two outs. Bree trying to get out of this top, excuse me, bottom half of the inning. Hit just above the third baseman, Bannerman, and going home. Let's see if he can get there. Oh, yeah, he will. Left fielder misplayed the ball on an easy double. One run scores. That is Ellis around the base path. 6-0 now the lead for Model. Nice double for Beckett Parker Noblet. Little Migos playing out here. Got some good uh, walk-up songs. Parker and Noblet way off second. Sayer and Noblet's going to take third. Loose pitch. Model gets down to two outs, and then they find the way to extend that run lead when they're down to only one left. Connor Sayre now is the second hitter in the top-to-bottom lineup. Wind up, throw outside. I but thought about taking off if the pitch could have been wild. Thompson now trying to get out of this tough inning so far. Started well, and last couple hitters have made it good for model. Wind up pitch, swung on and missed by Sayre. Good swing there, just couldn't make contact. Even better pitch. Balls, one strike to Sayre. That one swung on and missed too. Now two balls, two strikes, two swings and misses for Sayre. Big pitch here. That one got him with the strikeout. I don't know if Sarah agreed with it, but Ump says, I got it here. That's a strikeout. Let's go to the top of the fifth. One run scored by Model. They're up 6-0. 
Hey, uh, I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Right. Pepperoni pockets, cuckoo crusties. There's no promo, it's just great rates. And a cider ranch. When you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Jerry Goble in Richmond today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. For over 40 years, Lakes Funeral Home and Crematory in Berea have been helping families through the hardest times in their lives. With traditional burial planning to cremation, the folks at Lakes can help you honor your loved ones with final arrangements. Lakes can also help pre-plan now. Let your family members know what you want and help ease their burden. Visit lakesfuneralhome.com to learn how easy it can be to pre-plan. Lakes Funeral Home and Crematory, the only on-site crematory in Madison County. The WBON TV sports crew is holding the line up here in the press box. Not that anyone's coming after us. I think we've just got the line nice and comfortable in this warm press box. We're blessed tonight. The element's pretty cold after those storms last couple of days. We were in the 70s. They dipped today for sure. The degrees did. And we're back to jackets and hoodies and pants for the next couple of days until it warms up again. But nonetheless, we still have some good baseball going on. Model and Berea here at Turkey Hughes Field at EKU. Berea going to start us off in the top of the fifth. Up to bat is Cobb for the Pirates. Got a request for the walk-up songs or in-between music. I'd like to hear some Morgan Wall. I'm a big Morgan Wall guy, so we'll have to put that in on the request. First pitch outside for Gorbett. 6-0, Model steadily had this lead the whole night. Berea threatened for a little bit, had some runners on second, got one all the way to third, but could not cash in. Next pitch popped up out of play for a strike. That's Cobb up there. One ball, one strike. That one in, a little low for ball two. Got a good view up here in the press box. You can see some of the football training centers to your right, to your left. The beach volleyball court, kind of a new sport. Last couple of years they've implemented at Eastern Kentucky. I don't know much about it as a strike there to King, excuse me, Cobb, excuse me. But they're playing Moorhead State today. I believe it's up in Moorhead for doubleheader matchup. 2-2 two -two pitch here. Swung on and missed. A nice little stri strikeout. No, it looks like it was hit back into the catcher's mitt. May have fouled it off then. Or it hit the dirt and bounced in. That's what I think it did. Still 2-2 two -two in that case with the foul. That one outside brings the count to 3-2. Big at bat, big pitch here for both teams, and this one takes swing. Looks like that'll be ball. Didn't go fully around on that one. Here we go. Payoff pitch. Outside ball four. Oh, they say struck him out. Wow, okay. Looked like it was a little far to the right from my view, but no strikeout from Matthew Gorbett. He's got another one. He's had plenty tonight. Next up the bat, Algren for Berea. Not trying to take a, a strike away out from you, Gorbett. I just didn't see that one. That and inside. Home plate umpire he said, I got you. Ball one there. Sun starting to peek out from behind the clouds. Get a little bit more sun for maybe the rest of this game. The lights have been on because it's been cloudy. Ball two for Gorbett. He's got down a couple 
balls to no strikes and come back in a lot of these at-bats and struck out his hitters. Burchett, the catcher, going to walk up to the mound and have a quick little chat with his pitcher. Discuss what they want to do here. Ken want to make sure that they have everything taken care of and they know the right pitches to throw and where they want to go with it. Here goes Corbett, winds up, throws, good pitch there, but just a little low for ball. Next pitch up and inside for a strike right there. Count 3-1 so far. Here's the next one. Swung on and got him there. 3-2, now your count. Important pitch. And important at bat. Both teams here, 3-2. Popped up, and that's going to be foul and not catchable there. So, three balls, two strikes. Uh, uh, excuse me, top of the fifth, still 6-0 model Patriots lead. And Gorbit been working a great one so far from the mound. Got him there with the strikeout. So another one for our guy, Matthew Gorbit. Great game so far from Matthew. Building the strikeouts up tonight and overall just had a good game. Up next to bat for the Pirates is Preston Sweet. Went down looking last time. Sweet swings at that one. Makes the count 0-1. Next pitch from Gorbett right down the middle. 0-2 now the count. Gonna need some action here for the bats of the Pirates. Top of the fifth. Still down 6 0. Gorbett throws. Got him with the strikeout. Another one for Gorbett. He's cooking out there on the mound. Will we see him again in the sixth? We might. Stick around, though. Still bottom of the fifth action coming up. WBON TV. Whitaker Bank in Madison County is your local bank for convenience. With more branches than literally any other bank in Madison County, why go anywhere else? Whitaker Bank is known for their friendly customer service and easy access drive throughs Whitaker Bank, your home for local, friendly, family, banking. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. For years, Richmond residents have been searching for a heating and air company that can do it all. That search is now over. Don't let the name fool you. Fayette Heating and Air serves all over Central Kentucky for both commercial and residential customers. With Fayette Heating and Air, they promise that no matter the issue, no matter the time, you can expect award-winning heating repairs the first time, every time. Visit FayetteHeating.com to learn about special financing and how to sign up for the Comfy Club. With Fayette Heating and Air, complete home solution. All right, welcome back into WBON TV. We're going to the bottom of the fifth now and enjoying this game between Berea and Model. The Patriots handled it their way, though. 6-0 is your lead. See if they'll get some more to add on to that here. Thompson's still out there pitching for the Pirates. Besides a couple tough innings, not had the worst game so far. But here come the model Patriots looking to add on to their great start so far. Starting us off will be number 30, Aaron Short, the third baseman.
First pitch, short swings at a high. One fouls it just off the tip of his bat. Strike one. Thompson now. There's only a couple innings left, so he needs to keep throwing some scoreless ones here as that one's hit out of play. 0-2 oh, now your count. Next pitch fouled up out of play and checking out the crowd here. Still a solid showing. We've moved from book to Amazon now, so an upgrade. You got to have both. You got to read some, then Amazon some, then back to the book. The ball's two strikes swung on, hit, and will fall. This could be multiple bases for Aaron Short. He's at the second base. He's going to third. Could he come home? He slides in for a triple. Aaron Short gets us started. Let's check out the replay right there. Another one where if they really, really, really wanted some sort of gamble, probably wouldn't have made it, but could have gone home. But, of course, Coach Sutton, he knows that that's too good to be true. So he just says, hey, stop at third. We'll take the triple. Up next, Kellen Burchett. Can he bring in short? Burchett, one, two so far. Burchett swings on, fouls that one off. Hoping to get a good showing from Kellen today. Go to church with Kellen, Tate's Creek. No balls, one strike for this at bat, and no outs here at the bottom of the fifth. Throw over to third. They tried to get short, pick him off, unsuccessful on that attempt. Here's the next pitch. Thompson winds up, throws. Burchett swings on and misses that one for a strike. O2 now the count. See if Kellen can work Thompson here and try and get a hit. Pop that one out of play. Might be a car dent for somebody if they're close enough to the stadium. Don't hear any alarms, so I think we're good so far. O2 still your count. No balls, two strikes. Thompson winds up and throws. Burchett fouls it off again. Staying alive at this at bat is Kellen. No balls, two strikes here. Thompson looks, shakes it off. Whoever he's thinking about gets ready for the next pitch. Short at third. Burchett swings high and strikes out on that one. Chased the pitch a little high and couldn't make contact, and he's not happy with himself. He knows he probably could have gotten that one back. Next up to bat is Case Caldwell. It's all right. Kellen's still just a freshman, learning the game still, and what pitches to swing at, which ones to let go. Caldwell looks at that one outside for strike one. Nice night is 7.45 here local time as sun will be setting soon. Not sure when yet as we're in the daylight savings time for summer, which is my favorite. Get more daylight per day in the evening. This one's fouled off 0-2 now. Only one out here in the bottom of the fifth. We get closer and closer to summer, though, longer days. Won't complain about that one bit. No balls, two strikes, one out. 
Aldwell, the lefty, looks, swings, pops that one up, and out of play. Another car ding right there, maybe, hopefully not. We'd like a free souvenir, not a busted windshield. Here's the pitch, outside for a ball. One ball, two strikes now, still one out. Hanging up here in the EKU baseball press box. And nice facilities out here as we'll get a quick chat, coach to pitcher. Picking out the crowds. Mostly everyone who's been here from the start is stuck around, stuck to the elements, and loves them some baseball. They're sticking it out to the end here. Got to give them credit. You showed out today. Support model or Berea. Over here at Eastern, parking lot's a little less spacious with the Alumni Coliseum renovations going on in the next year or so. They're completely redoing that place. So EK's basketball team next year is going to have some different facilities they're going to be playing home games in. Back to action, though. One ball, two strikes. Fouled off, and Caldwell will live to fight another pitch. Here it is. Pop that one up. Going to be in foul territory, but caught. That's the second out of the bottom of the fifth there for Banderman. Remember, high school, seven innings, not nine. Like MLB and other higher leagues. So we're in the bottom of the fifth. Got a couple more to go up here. Up next for the Patriots, Aiden Wade, the center fielder up to bat also a lefty. He looks to bunt, strike. Wade wants to try and advance that runner at third, short. Home, and maybe with his speed, he can get the first two, but two outs, so a little bit of a gamble if he tries. No bunt showing this time. That'll go for a ball. One ball, one strike, two outs. Get in play. And throw to first just in time to save the run from being scored. So no run. 6-0 is still your score heading to the top of the six on WBON TV. Gwen's Fine Jewelers voted best of the best jewelry store and voted best of the best jewelry repair shop. Gwen's has the best prices on diamonds. Let Gwen's design your dream ring. Gwen's Fine Jewelers, located next to Hobby Lobby in the Carriage Gate Shopping Center, Richmond. Or find them online at Gwen'sFineJewelers.com. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jennifer. And in the spring of 1992, Bishop Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cub Cadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shindawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see you. Welcome back to WBON-TV, hanging out here and enjoying some baseball as we're heading to the top of the six. With Model still with a 6-0 lead. Good baseball being played tonight. Berea, only a few more opportunities in this matchup at least to try and make it a close game or competitive down 6-0. They've just not had much success on the base path so far, so we'll see if they can get some here. Top of the order for Berea. That's our pitcher and... Thompson. Thompson looks at that one for strike.
It's like Gorbett still in for model. Had a great game. I don't no reason to take him out. Swings there. Strike two. Here comes another quick Gorbett pitch, and that one bounced off in the dirt. One ball there. Big pitch here for both teams again. That one got him. Got him looking, too. Struck out Thompson. Up next to bat is Tommy Vanderman. Rhea struggling to get on base tonight and just not been able to register too, too many hits, especially consecutive ones. Gorbett, first pitch of this at bat, winds up, hit on by Bannerman. Will this fall fair? It will not. It'll be caught. What a catch by the left fielder for Model. Let's get that on replay. Tyler Short out there. Wow, look at that. A good hit for Bannerman. Just kind of robbed right there by even better fielding. Dove for it and just pulled it in. What a catch. What an out. Two down on top of the six. Next up is Profit for Berea. Profit fouls it off for strike one. Hit the roof above us again with a loud thud. Couple souvenirs in the parking lot after the game. That one curved in for strike two. What a pitch. Payoff right here. A little low, so it'll be a ball. One ball, two strikes. Here we go. Outside, that'll easily be ball two. Orbit still hanging in there. Will he go the complete game tonight? We'll see. High there above the head of Profit. Ball three. <laughs> Excuse me. Still dealing with a little bit of a sore throat tonight, everybody. Three balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Inside, ball four. Couple of consecutive pitches there that were not in the zone for the walk. Short stop now. Shill up the bat. Here we go. First pitch outside. Ball one. Hope I didn't jinx Gorbett saying, could he go a complete game? Struggling with the strike zone now. Let's see if he can rebound with this at bat. Fouled up. In play. Foul play. And caught for the third out of the inning. In foul territory is what I was trying to get out. Now let's head to the bottom of the six with a 6-0 lead for the Patriots. Whether you're looking for dependability in the game or on the road, Madison County is where you'll find it. Jack Rupert Chevrolet in Richmond has the trucks you can depend on and a winning tradition just like our great local sports teams. Come see us at Jack Rupert Chevrolet in Richmond or check us out at jackrupert.com to see our lineup of dependable trucks and become part of the winning tradition. Hi, I'm Haley, one of the owners and managers at Just Love Coffee in Berea. Just Love Coffee is a franchise that was set up as a vision of love to help children get adopted. Just Love Coffee is a full-service restaurant that features artisan coffee creations, plus an all-day food menu that includes golden waffles, delicious sandwiches, and filling craveable wraps. Just Love Coffee, a half mile off exit 76 in Berea, in our newly renovated location at 636 Chestnut Street. All right, we're still in the top of the six, technically. Went to commercial break. Apparently, catcher's interference was called, so the basis was taken. The foul 
territory catch nullified. This one's fouled off for strike two. So we're Berea is still alive in the top of the six. Runners on second and first with King up to bat. One ball, two strikes. Popped up. Will this stay in? Burchett can't make the catch. Almost redeemed himself there. Almost got it. He's a little frustrated after the catcher's interference. Had a chance to get that one and end the inning. Missed it by about a foot. One ball, two strikes still. <laughs> That one hit right to the left fielder and diving catch made again to Rob Berea of runs. Now let's head to the bottom of the six. Still the same score, 6 0. And at the half, BKU leads state 21 to 7. I love the way these look. Thanks. Yeah, go Colonels. Is it here? Hey, coach, it's right here, but shouldn't you be at the game? Carry your favorite team with you everywhere you go with a new EKU-branded debit card from CG Bank. No matter what season it is, always show your Colonel pride. Has anyone seen Coach? Who makes the best meal in Richmond? Nuevo Vallarta. Friendly service, a place that's good for kids and good for groups. Head to Nuevo Vallarta on Big Hill Avenue in Richmond. Nuevo Vallarta is known for warm hospitality, great prices, great food, and the best fajitas in town. Start with an appetizer, order a la carte, or choose from their huge menu of Mexican favorites for grown-ups and kids. Nuevo Vallarta on Big Hill Avenue in Richmond. We're now officially in the bottom of the six here on WBON TV. Model still leading 6-0. Danger time for Berea. Runs can be added here, and then they'll only have one more opportunity unless they can tie it to bat again. Till then, Model will have at least one more chance to bat here. Bottom six. A little bit better weather today than we've had the past couple of days. Tornado warnings all over the state yesterday. Luckily, not too many were too dangerous, just some small, smaller ones, EF1s and such around the state. Don't want any, but we'll take those. Compared to what they were saying. Garrett Holloway starting us off with this Kanye West walk-up music. Holloway looks at that one high for ball one. Next pitch here, Thompson. Holloway looks at it for a strike one. Fell right into the strike zone. A little slide in action. Next pitch. Strike two. See if Holloway wants to swing here at this one. Does and fouls it off. Out of play. Got him there, swinging. How about that strikeout for Thompson? Holloway goes down on a strikeout. Next up to bat, that's going to be Matthew, oh, excuse me, 13. That's going to be Chase Lowry. Didn't look on our substitutions card for a second, but Lowry now up to bat. Lowry looks at that for strike one. That one high for ball one to Lowry. Next pitch fouled up and out of play. 
One ball, two strikes your count on Chase Lowry. Here comes the pitch. And that hit Lowry, so he'll easily take first. Up to bat next is 14, the speedster, Mark Thomas Ellis, the right fielder. Hasn't had to do too much work out there in right field today. Call that an easy day, just get a couple hits. A little cardio in, a little good hitting. That one outside for ball one. Pinch runner in really quick for Lowry. That's number eight, Preston Stevens. <laughs> See what Stevens can do on the base path here. Popped up. Should be an easy out for the Pirates. And misplayed the easy pop-up and overthrown. Oh, my goodness. Some errors for Berea here. Routine plays they should be making on pop flies. Turns into a hit for Stevens. And danger time for the Pirates. You know why? Because Becker Parker Noblet, the top of the order, is back to bat with two runners on base. Here comes Parker Nob to the batter's box. Looking to drive in a couple more runs in a rivalry matchup. Thompson outside, way on that one. High, too. Ball one. That pitch will be strike one. Turn around, pick off attempt at second. Not in time. Safe. I think it's Stevens over there on second. Parker Noblet still in the batter's box. One ball, one strike, one out. Two balls now. One strike. Pitch hit on well, and that'll drive in one run at least. Albert will just take one. 7 0 now the model lead as Stevens comes rolling into home. Get a replay look on that. Good base running by Stevens, taking advantage of his running abilities there. Make sure he got home plate. Connor Sayer now up to bat. Runners on the corners for Sayre. Noblet will easily take second. Slides in just for the fun of it right there. So I'll get the pants dirty just a little bit. Someone's going to have to do that laundry. Runners now on third and second. Sayer up to bat. Looks at that one just got inside for a strike. Oh, 
on two strikes is Sayer. Here's the wind-up throw. Just out of here for a foul ball. Balls, two strikes, one out here. Model wants to grow this lead just a little bit more. Popped up and out of play again for Sayre, making contact with the baseball, just not in the field, out in the parking lot. Probably a gold mine for foul ball hunters out there. Sayre, that one's high for a ball. Ellis, the speedster, like I called him, he's over there on third and Noblet on second. That one just a little outside. Catcher for the Pirates. Stop the run right there by the great stoppage of the pitch. Went a little bit to the right. Wind up, Sayre hits it, fair, one run's going to score, two runs are going to score, Sayre's going on to second, will he come to third? Nope, he'll stop there at second. Now, 9-0, oh, your lead for the model Patriots. How about Sayre's hit right there? <laughs> the outfielders for the Pirates got to work on fielding that baseball. Routine plays that are giving up extra bases right there. Aaron Short now, with a swing of the bat, could easily make this 10-0. He's looking to do that. Short, loose pitch, on to third, sliding in and safe. Sayre will take third and... Now Aaron Short here. See if he can get his teammate home. Here's the windup, the pitch. Check swing, didn't go fully around. Outside for a ball. Short looking for something that he can crack out there. Catcher again saves a potential run, jumping in front of the pitch. The three balls in this at bat. That one hit on, and it's going to drive in a run, thrown out at first, but that's only two outs. 10 0, and folks, that is the 10-0 run rule, I think, right there. Yep, that will be. So ball game is over with that 10th run. Your model Patriots, if you're a uh, model fan, have won. Berea just couldn't get any runs in action tonight. 10-0 is the final score. Thanks for joining us tonight, folks, for this game. Next week we'll have another good one on WBON-TV.